guys, welcome to Porter's one month update. I have him behind me, right in there. He's just snoozing away. So I thought I would just give a little update while he's taking a nap. So Porter is now 10 pounds, 11 ounces big. He's almost 11 pounds. It's so crazy to think. I thought that was huge. Like I totally thought he would only be like eight pounds or something or maybe nine. I couldn't believe he was almost 11 pounds. But then looking back, Grayson was like 10 pounds, seven ounces or something when he turned a month old. So I guess it's not too crazy, but he's in like the 76th percentile for weight. So he's like above average. For height, he is 22 inches tall, and in that, he is in like the 76th percentile as well. Like for weight, height, and head, he was all in like the 70th percentile, or like in the 70s. So it's just so crazy, like he's a big baby, but he's growing and doing really well. We had his one month doctor appointment, and they checked him out, and he got his um, hep B shot, which he did not like. Um, but other than that, they said he was looking really good. The one concern that we do have about him right now is, um, like, half of his head is kind of flat. We think that's just how he was squished in my belly because ever since he was born, he's kind of had, like, that. And I'll insert a picture here. You can see, like, the one side of his head is, like, forming fine and then the other one is pretty flat. And unfortunately, he really likes to sleep on the side that he's not supposed to sleep on. And so we actually went and had x-rays done of his head to make sure that like his plates were growing normally. And he did not like those x-rays at all. Um, he cried the whole time. But they got the x-rays back and they seem to be fine. Um, his plates are growing normally. Everything looks good. Um, I'm just trying to lay him on the side that's kind of flat to try to like even out his head, but it's still, uh, we're about halfway through month one right now and it's still pretty noticeable. So we'll go back to the doctor next month and I'll have an update on the next uh, two month update, or I'm sure I'll have it in a vlog as well on uh, how he's doing. But other than that, he's growing really, really well. Also, on his one month birthday, on the day he turned one month, he started smiling, which I thought was way too early. Like, I thought for sure it was just like a fluke, but he kept doing it over and over again. And so I mentioned it to his pediatrician, and she was like, no, at one month they can start smiling. Like, it probably is a genuine smile. And ever since then, he has been smiling, smiling, smiling. I'll insert videos and a picture of that. Can you smile? Yeah. Are you so happy? Are you so happy? You could talk? Yeah. Yeah. You look so big today. What are you doing with that tongue? Really? What are you doing? What are you doing? He is just so cute. Um, lights up every time I talk. I get the most smiles, I think, because he just recognizes like my voice. Um, but he is just so alert now, and it's so fun to see like him smiling and actually like interacting with me instead of just like staring at me. So that's been really fun to watch. Porter loves eating. Um, I'm still breastfeeding 100%. We have not had to have formula yet, and he has been doing really well with that. Um, my boobs have recovered, and so I'm feeling great now. My milk supply is staying up, which is really good. He cluster feeds here and there, but for the most part, um, he does really well breastfeeding. He is sleeping pretty well through the night. He gets up about two to three times. Um, when we first brought him home from the hospital, it was not as good, and I didn't get a lot of sleep, but that's normal. Um, so I'm hoping that as he gets bigger and his stomach gets bigger and he can hold more milk, that he um, stretches those sleep times at night. But he does seem to have his days and nights 
um, fixed now, and so now he is sleeping better throughout the night, at least when he was first born. Porter loves being outside. It's just starting to get cold now, so we're not going to be able to go out too much more often, but when I do bring him outside, he calms right down and loves looking around at the sky and the leaves, and for some reason, he really likes looking at our garage ceiling. I don't know why, but he does um, like being outside. It just seems to calm him, and I remember with Grayson, that was the case as well. Porter also loves looking out windows. We have a lot of windows, especially in our living room, and he's always craning his neck to look out the windows, and it's so sweet to see. Porter does not like getting naked. He does not like having his outfit changed. Um, having his diaper changed is okay here and there. He's still in newborn diapers, but that's basically because I'm trying to cram him into newborn diapers. He really needs to be in size one, but I'm just trying to get through all of my newborn diapers before I get to his size one diapers. Um, I've been pooped on, but not peed on. Anthony's been peed on, but not pooped on. <laughs> so we're dealing with that. Porter also does not like having bath time. Um, we gave him his first couple baths this month and he seems to be warming up to it but he does really not care for bath time. I think it's because we have to get him naked which he does not like and you know it's wet and he's just not sure what's going on but we just put him in the sink. We have like a little bath flower that we put him in. I can't wait till he gets big enough that I can put him in the bathtub with Gray and have them both take a bath at the same time. I think that'll be so fun. Speaking of Grayson, um, they still really don't, I mean, Porter's an infant, so he doesn't really understand. He does like watching Grayson play. I have noticed that as he gets older, but Grayson, like, wants nothing to do with Porter. He really does not care <laughs> about Porter at all. Um, so I'm hopeful that as Porter gets bigger, it, their relationship gets closer, but we will see. Like I said, with sleeping, Porter's starting to do four to five hour stretches at night, um, we keep him up from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. every night, and that does seem to help, although it is what we call his witching hour because he does not like being up for two hours straight, and it's it's hard. We have to walk him around a lot. We have to switch positions a lot. He doesn't like laying down. He likes being sat up and, like, looking around, um, and so it's been really tough just trying to, like, learn him and understand what he likes, what he doesn't like, and just trying to keep him happy while he's awake. And then once 9 o'clock rolls around, it's like, okay, you can go to bed, but then it takes about like an hour until 10 o'clock to actually get him to sleep. And so it's been hard. I won't lie. There's been a couple of times where I've just been so frustrated that I've just had to put him down in his bassinet where I know he's safe and just walk away for a couple of minutes while he's crying because I just get frustrated. And I just want to be real with you guys. Like, it's okay to put the baby down in a safe environment. Hence why I put him in the bassinet where there's nothing around him. Um, but yeah, there are times where I just get really frustrated. because I mean, you forget how hard that first year is. You just can't communicate with them. They're constantly crying. You don't know why. Is it their diaper? Are they not feeling well? Are they hungry? Um, I try to feed him at times, and then it's like he'll, he'll drink a little bit, and then he gets mad because I don't know if his stomach is too full or he's hurt. or I don't know. It's just a lot of second guessing yourself and so there have been a lot of, it's not all sunshine and rainbows with an infant like you do have a lot of hard times but I feel like every day I learn him more and more and I get to know like him and so I feel like you know every day is better and every day is better easier than the last I feel like so we're getting there I have noticed Porter's grip really start to become stronger. He grips onto my shirt, my hair, which isn't always fun, um, but he definitely is gripping a lot more. He's becoming more aware of his surroundings. He's found his fist here and there, and will start sucking on his fist, so that's really fun to see. He is basically out of his newborn clothes. Um, he's just so big, he's growing out of them, so now we're in um, three-month clothes, zero to three-month clothes as well. And so it's really fun getting to put him in new outfits. So it's always fun when they get a little bigger and the outfits change so that you can kind of mix up their wardrobe. But I feel like we're doing pretty good. He is a pretty happy baby, mostly when he's sleeping. Um, he basically sleeps all day. Uh, he'll be up for two hours in the morning, and then the 7 to 9 stretch would keep him up, and then other than that, he basically sleeps. So you forget how much they sleep when they're that little. So that's been really nice just because I feel like I can pay more attention to Grayson, and then when Grayson goes to bed at 7.30, I have the 7 to 9 to dedicate to Porter. Anthony's been helping me out a lot when he can, when he's home with Porter, which has been super nice because it's hard 
at 7 o'clock when we have to put Grayson down for bed and Porter's up. So we tag team it and one of us will stay with Porter and one of us will take Grayson. So that's been a lot of help. Anthony also helps me during witching hour with walking around because, believe it or not, a 10-pound baby gets heavy <laughs> carrying for two hours. So I always joke that my uh, arm muscles are getting a workout every day. Like, I'm going to have some strong arms after this because he is heavy and he loves to be held. He does not like it when we put, put him down. So we have to just keep him held whenever he's awake, which is a lot. <laughs> but I think that's it. That's just kind of how he is for a month old. I'll insert just some clips and um, pictures that I've taken over the month and his one month pictures. I, I do a little photo shoot every month just to like commemorate how he looks. And so I'll input those here as well. Yeah, that's gonna be it thank you so much for tuning in subscribe to my channel so you can see all the month updates um, I'll go through every month until he turns a year old and uh, make sure to like this video and I will sign off by showing you Porter snoozing Here's Porter. He is so loud, you guys. <laughs> That's another thing about Porter. He is so noisy. I don't remember Grayson being this noisy. I swear he snores. <laughs> but anyway, that's going to be it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.